If you want to create a custom design for Vistaprint, the best way to go about this is to download the template that they give you at vistaprint.com. Find the product that you want to create, go to the full upload specifications tab, and you should be able to see document settings, or you can download a template for something like the rack card, which is what we're using here. Once you've designed that, whether it's in Photoshop, Illustrator, or you saved it as a PDF, maybe if you used Corel 12 or something like that, then what you need to do is you need to go to this upload a complete design section and click get started. And then what it's going to ask you to do is upload the front of your card. So if you need help, you can click on this upload help, or you can also see accepted file types and you can actually upload a Photoshop or an Illustrator or a PDF file directly into this internet system. So I'll click browse and I'll put the front of the card and this is a PSD file so it's a Photoshop and this might take a couple of minutes depending on how big the file is and it'll show you the progress here and I've already done that so as soon as it's done uploading this is what you would see. Now if you created it correctly using a template in Photoshop or Illustrator then you should this should look perfect right here and you shouldn't have to make any changes. Um, this dotted line is showing you the trim line and that means that's where they're going to cut. So anything outside of the dotted line is going to get cut off. So make sure that there's nothing important in that dotted line. When you're ready, you can click next and this is going to take you to an editing area. And this is when people want to create their card directly in the browser. They might not have Photoshop or Illustrator or another program. And this is where you can preview and make sure everything looks correct and it's all spelled correct, etc. This card actually has a backside, so we'll click backside here. And then this is where we need to browse and upload the back of the card. And again, this file is quite big, it's 9 megabytes, so it might take 2 to 5 minutes. And we don't necessarily have that time to watch that in this video. But when you do upload it, it'll look the same. It'll bring up the preview here and then you'll hit next. And then you'll be able to see one side here and then a preview of the other side in the left hand column just to make sure it's correct. And then as you move through this process, at some point it's going to have you check a box that says you have checked to make sure it looks good, everything's spelled correctly, etc. so that they're not liable if they print a bunch of things and you made a mistake. But otherwise, it's okay to upload Photoshop and Illustrator files, and that's how simple it is.